All right, thank you all for coming today. If you all would please join me in the pledge to the flag right up here in the corner. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And Magistrate Leiter, will you lead us in a word of prayer? If you all would please join us. Sorry. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity in which you've allowed us to gather here today. As we move forward, Heavenly Father, please be with us with guidance and wisdom, courage and strength as we make decisions for our county. Let us be mindful, Heavenly Father, of those who are sick or ill or are shut in within our community. Let's pray for their comfort and their healing. And as always, Heavenly Father, Please forgive us of our sins when we fall short. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right. Now, Susan, will you call the roll, please? Todd Pola. Here. Chris Leiter. Here. Kenny Green. Here. J.D. Jones. Here. Cody Melvin. Here. Crystal Hines. like the gang is, is all here and I first want to start out with welcoming our new fiscal court uh, members with JD and Chris and welcome back to Kirby welcome back to Kenny uh, thank you all for running for office and being part of this um, and moving right along we have uh, this is the time of year to make appointments reappointments to our county employee roles and uh, I would like to, uh, I don't have this one printed up because it was two names, uh, offer up for the position of dog catcher or animal control person. Jacob Callis, that ends in a P, Jacob, J-A-C-O-P, C-A-L-L-I-S. He is in the room if, if you all would like to speak to him. Uh, I feel very confident that he can care for the animals as well as as well as uh, helping residents when they have animal control issues. Uh, I think that's a very serious situation and uh, so I'd like to recommend him to be our full-time animal control person and our part-time person to be Greg Schwartzmiller and that's S-C-H-W a R T Z M I L L E R. Uh, if you guys, I think you guys were present, but Greg has been working part time out at the animal shelter now uh, to help coverage for uh, while we didn't have any coverage going on. And uh, he seems to like it pretty good, and uh, that goes a long way. And then, of course, you know, you all will help set those wages uh, that, that's usually how that gets done in the county yeah and I, and I've got a question but it's a legal question and I don't I see our attorney in here so I don't know if I can get the answer or not but um, was it is this not supposed to be done under executive session no it can be done it in open done meeting, open meeting? Mm -hmm. okay yeah but anything else we can go to executive session to, to talk about it okay. uh, this is Mr. Keller, what kind of what experience does he have? Uh, he's got a long experience of taking care of animals. Yeah. From somebody like the uh, animal. No, I, he worked at a golf course and stuff. Uh, Jacob, we can ask yeah. you. You want to tell us a little bit about your experience with uh, animals? I mean, I've never actually worked anywhere where that was my job, but I've always did it my entire life, so I don't see it being much different. Have you had a conversation with our current dog? I, I have not. Uh, what I learned at Keiko was that uh, at the end of any administration, mm -hmm. all county employees that, from, that are hired or appointed from that previous administration, are their term ends too. And then the new, new incoming administration can appoint their people. Right. And that's Kentucky law. Okay. That's why I didn't, didn't bother having a conversation. Uh, with the old one because I had somebody else in mind, the position. 
that means they that you appoint new it doesn't have that you can fire anybody it's and it's not firing anybody at all nope it's just their term ends and that's uh i gave copy kirby a copy of this lawsuit that i that i looked at that i got from rich ornstein he is a lawyer from keiko and 67 17. yeah in this situation uh there was a gentleman who who worked for the county and his father-in-law was running for judge executive well he naturally campaigned for his father-in-law but his father-in-law got beat so the guy wanted to know why the new judge wouldn't appoint him and she told him it was for political thank you Crystal. welcome sorry just out of court <laughs> all right uh he wanted to know why he wasn't appointed. Well, she told him it was for political and personal reasons. Well, he sued, and he lost. And Kentucky law holds up that the terms of all county employees expire automatically at the end of each executive administration. And this is from Rich Ornstein from Keiko, and I can make or have Chris over and make copies, or Bruce make copies. You want? I've got a copy. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty solid and uh, it's in my email too. Hiring and firing of employees done in open session. Well not firing. But appointing. Appointing. Appointing in, in open session, yes. Okay. <coughs> and even their wages I think is open session, isn't it? Yeah. And the only time we would go to executive session would be if we're going to discuss uh, disciplinary actions or termination. Yes. Right. You know, there's a lot more to that job than just going out here getting a dog or what type of animal there is. You, yeah. you can't misuse, you know, abuse right. them or anything like that. There, that is a tedious job. Now, we, you don't want to go out here and make a mistake on something. Right. And that's that's kind of why I was, what I was leading into was was possibly keeping the current dog catcher in place for for six months. Uh, to correct whatever issues you have with him or, or whatever issues you don't, you know. So. Right, okay. All right. Well, six months, is that too long? I mean, obviously well, I, 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 would, but say, I would like to uh, hold off maybe. on that conversation mm -hmm. and go into executive session to discuss that. What, 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 what now? What did you require in an executive session? Uh, to talk about uh, keeping somebody on for six months. Okay, that can't be done in an executive session. Okay, so talk it out now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to impugn the person's character, <coughs> but there's been uh, there's been some some conversations about. Uh, um, the person not doing the job and it's it's not just my opinion it's it's all over the county and and people say these things and um, so I just don't I don't know what uh, prolonging the you know to keep somebody on for another six months when when they had the time to do the job it wasn't getting done and, and I just don't think that uh, Keeping somebody on for another six months is going to help, uh, especially when we have we do have an interlocal agreement with Henry County, right. and and they've been uh, very good about working with our part-time guy to help him understand his position. And also, uh, you know, I've been looking over that contract and uh, just to what our obligations are, and you know, we have. Uh, probably about the same amount of problems that Henry County does. And I just want coverage. Now, Jacob, do you have a, have you looked over the job responsibilities and know what uh, yeah, the job I talked, requires? I talked, uh, County, uh, the guy that works for Henry County out of the shelter, mm -hmm. I talked to him, he told me that as it goes, that all I'd have to do if I had any questions or anything was call him. Have you been out to the shelter? Yeah, okay. we already went out there and he's already went over everything to do at the shelter. Okay. So, you know, I think what we're running into here, too, is I don't think ever, anything was ever been explained to these guys 
what your expectations was, what they need to do, how you want to do it. You know, nobody, I don't think anybody really ever sat down with them and said, hey, this is what we want done. This is what we're looking for. I think it's kind of went out the door. Well, I'm a dog catcher, you know. Right, and that was, that was my whole idea about the six month, whether you call it probationary period or something like that, but that he does know what the job is and what is expected of him. Mm. But, well, my number one position is you got to show up for work. That's I it. I don't, uh, I think that's number one priority. Mm -hmm. And that's where we, that's where we're running into problems. That's the problems that I hear repeatedly. So did the old dog warden contact you? He did last yes. night. Sitting last here. night? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I did tell him he was welcome to come into this meeting today. And, all right, on the, on the wages sheet that you guys have, if you could, I want to talk about this. Uh, scroll to page, page four, be the third one down. <coughs> You see, the full-time wages say that that his wages are thirty-two thousand eight hundred eighty-four dollars and eighty cents a year, right? Everybody agrees that that's what that says. Yeah. Well, the confusing part for me was when I was signing paychecks in his uh, year-to-date check. says forty three thousand three hundred ninety two dollars and forty eight cents mm -hmm. so how's that Is that because of the, the sick days and vacation days that were accumulated or wouldn't that be included in your thirty two thousand eight hundred eighty four dollars a year well you'd, you'd think it would be yeah. yeah he did get a raise at some point last year this is as, this is as of December seventh. Yeah. yeah, but if you take the fifteen eighty one an hour right here, mm -hmm. that equals the thirty two eight eighty four. Yeah, it does. I don't know where you're getting the. If I got that's the what he, That's what he makes hourly. That's, it there you go. Yeah. That's a paycheck stuff. Oh, uh, God! Okay. Unless there was, <clears throat> this is not up to date. December seventh. Well, and, and this is. Well, guys, I look at that. That was a previous court. This is that's yeah, right. I this agree. Court. That's right. That was done by a previous court. We're looking at this court. Yep. Yeah. So. So that's that's the appointment I want to make, guys. And uh, would you give Russell the opportunity to speak if he would like to? Go ahead. Uh, I was never contacted by Todd. I finally contacted him last night. Uh, he told me my services were no longer required. Said I don't do my job. Which is just I didn't say that at all. So watch what you're saying because it was all in text okay. and I can read the text. No, you said it just a few seconds ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I stand by it. Okay. Well, it's not. All right, moving forward. You want to appoint Jacob Callis and Greg Schwartzman. You, and Greg's already at 950 an hour. Yeah. For, I make a motion we keep Greg where he's at at 950 an hour. All right. Is, is he considered part time? He needs the part time. Would, be part -time. Mm -hmm. so would that include benefits then, or no, no, part, -time, part time? No benefits. Part -time. So less than a hundred hours a month. Yeah, about and twenty. He, about twenty a week. And he's been doing yeah. it since December fifteenth. Yes. As far as Jacob, I make a motion we we go with Jacob upon your referral. All right. At a lesser wage than just starting out, maybe. Not. All right. Yes. Thank you. Well, but because the point I can see here, this ain't working. Right. You in the current one, so I'll, I'll back you on that. Make a motion. We, like I said, hire Greg as the part time with what he's making now, and hire Jacob, and we'll discuss his wages. That's my All motion. Right. We have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? I'm going to second it because 
I don't think it's going to work out the way it should. I don't think it's going to work out at all with the previous one. Right. Right. Okay. All right, we have a motion on the floor. We have a second. Is there any more discussion? All those in favor, say aye or roll call. See you. Chris Slater? Aye. Kenny Green? Aye. J.D. Jones? Aye. Kirby Melvin? Aye. Todd Paul? Here. Or yes. All right, moving right along. Yeah, we set his we set set yes, his let's out. do that. I make a motion. I'm looking at it right now with what no experience at 1250 an hour. All right. Yeah. No, he's going Starting to him out at that. A second. All right. Any discussion? All those in, uh, Susan, could you call the roll, please? <coughs> Chris Leiter? Yeah. Kenny yes. Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pola? Here, yes. You talk to Jacob to see you. And, 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 yes, the and I will. I will. Um, all right, moving right along to the park attendants. We have uh, William Temple has been doing the job. <coughs> Um, he's had part-time seasonal help of his wife Tammy and Jimmy Young, and I would I would like to see those those people continue. Uh, this one right here. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right now. Make a motion we keep them at the same time with their salary the, the same. Current salary. Yeah. Current salary. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have a motion on the floor to uh, keep these guys the exact same as what we've been doing. Yeah, I'll second. All right, I'll second. any discussion? All right. <coughs> and Susan, go ahead. Chris Slider? Yay. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. All right, the next one is the Trimble County Emergency uh, Services employees. I would like to uh, I would like to nominate William McCoy to be our EMS director. And uh, our current medical director is Dr. Thomas Pope. Uh, and then we have uh, full-time employees. Susan, would you like to have this? That'd be great. Yeah. <coughs> Our full-time employees are Cody Killingsworth, Amanda Wright, Mitchell Dunn, Katie Christian, Hope Moore, and Katie Elizabeth. Our part-time employees, Leah Payton, Thomas Pope III, George McDowell, Donna Horine, Elizabeth Rose, and Barry Bickers. And then our uh, additional part-time employees of Andrew Stark, Justin McQuarrie, Mike Sparkman, and Sharon Law. And with the exception of uh, William Le William McCoy, everybody else would, would keep the same wages that they're already making. With being Sharon's not there no more, her oh, wages will go back to her. <clears throat> yes. Huh? Yes. So we'll have to reappoint her wages. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So huh? there's two. Yeah. And, and I would think we would just put her to where the other people are. Yeah, well, we've got to make sure we put that in record on that. Yeah. That sound right. Mm -hmm. I'll make the motion to go ahead and. Uh, retain the current employees for EMS and add the, um, uh, William McCoy to the EMS director position. Thank you, Kenny. All right, we have a motion on the floor. Two. Uh, second. All right, thank you. Any discussion whatsoever? All right.
Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. From the Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. <laughs> And then going through these payroll records to uh, look at the previous EMS director to kind of give you a ballpark. being so out of order but uh, we will get it straightened out that they're all in line that we don't have uh, bailiffs and and clerks and deputy sheriffs all mixed together it'll all be just EMTs just parks just road everybody will have separate <coughs> categories because it makes it very very difficult to keep flipping through pages and finding, uh, you know, the person you're looking for. So the the, uh, the current EMS director was making, what did I see, 1914? 1914, that correct? Page one. Very first page. It's about the fifth one down, Kirby. Make a motion. We go ahead and pay the EMS director the 1914 per hour. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have a. I'll second. All right. We have a second. Uh, the motion on the floor is to pay the EMS director 1914 an hour. And the second, Chris Leiter. Any discussion whatsoever? All right. <coughs> Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. All right, moving right along to the uh, fiscal court clerk, which is. Do we need to say part time too? Uh, Part-time wages, yes. Yeah, for uh, keep. Uh, you want to make all the uh, part-time uh, workers of what what their current wages are, and, and include Sharon in that pool, yeah. guys. Yes. I make a motion to keep the part-time at the current salary and including Sharon Law in the list. I second. All right. Any discussion? Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Fola? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then setting the wage for the full-time employees on there. Uh, it's at 11.33 an hour. They are also, yeah, 11.33 an hour. You know, we just made a motion to keep the part-time employees and the full-time employees at the current same rate. rate. Same rate. Same rate. Yeah. Same rate. I like it. All right. We have a motion on the floor to keep the part-time and full-time employees at the same rate. Second. And second. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. <coughs> All 
right, and now uh, our fiscal court clerk, who is Susan Barnes. I would recommend it nominate her to continue her job. <coughs> so moved. Thank you very much, Kenny. Second. Second. All right. Thank you very much. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. And the wage to stay the same. Yeah. We need to have a motion. Yes, please. Yeah. Motion to keep her pay the same. Okay. To the current budget year. All right. I second. And JD second. Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. Kenny Jones? Yes. Kenny Melvin? Yes. Kenny Yes. <coughs> and then uh, moving down to our county treasurer, I would uh, nominate Regina Rand to stay in that position. Yeah, I'll make a motion to keep Regina treasure with the same wage. Second. Can we make that in one motion? Or do we need it? Oh good, let's do that. Yeah. Save us a little time. It's two things. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to continue uh, Regina Rand as the county treasurer at the current salary she is receiving. How you want to word that? All right, we have a second. Second. Right, thank you, Kirby. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. Jamie Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Bullock? Yes. All right, and the next one is the road department. And I would like to nominate uh, our road supervisor to be Mike Stewart with the assistant road supervisor of Barry Sherrill. Make a motion to uh, make Mike Stewart the road supervisor at the uh, current rate of $20.58 an hour. Is that right? 58. We need a second. Second. All right. Any discussion? No. Okay. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. JD Jones? Yes. Toby Melvin? Yes. Todd Bullock? Yes. All right. And now the uh, road department workers. Oh, all right. Yeah, separate. Uh, the assistant road supervisor, I would nominate Barry Sherrill to be the assistant road supervisor. So moved. Second. All right. Thank you. And his wage. Yeah. And uh, I think it was 18, 18 an hour. 18 even. Yes. Oh, this is pitiful. Okay. 18 an hour on that. Yes, uh, we got a second. Kenny okay. second. Or Kenny motion, <coughs> third second. I don't remember that. All right. Any discussion at all? All right. 
Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Toby Nevin? Yes. Todd Bullock? Yes. That means Mike's here, I'd like to say, so I'm about to roll department. We've had, I know we've had a lot of turnover in the last couple of years. Just make sure those boys stay safe down there. All right, we'll keep up good work. All right, now our, our, uh, our current road workers are, at this present, Randy <coughs> Reagan, Mark Fuel, Jeremy Keller, Gary Luckett Jr., Jason Ricky, Ritchie, Ricky Webster, as full-time employees, and then Steve Teague as a part-time employee. And I would like to recommend that we keep all them and at their current rate of pay. And there, there's, there's different for each one because based on time that they have in. So I'll move on that. Now second. Any discussion at all, guys? Okay. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Bullock? Yes. That's clear. Mike, how many do we keep down there? I mean, we keep more than six full time, don't we? Nine or well, be nine, nine of us all together. I'll be nine, seven, even. Well, six, six full-time guys, and then you, oh, that's right. that's the, yeah. you, two other guys, mm -hmm. uh, and then one term, one part-time guy. So about eight and a half. Yes, yeah, so we might might need to be looking at that. Uh, you know, hiring somebody. Well. I was thinking we run closer to 10 through the summertime. I thought we did, you know. Yeah. Well, wintertime is mainly when you... We're we, really going to we, need... We never know. We you know. really up there to help us. Really okay. You know, I don't know how he feels anymore. I think he had a little surgery or something went on. Yeah, he was sick a couple years ago, so... Yeah, we got one, one part-time, Steve? Yeah. We need a motion on him. We do. Yep. Okay. Keep Steve Tag at his regular part time salary. My second day. Did we, did we do finish up the all in favor on the all the yes. full time people? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have a motion to keep Steve at the part time uh, position and part time pay. <laughs> and Chris seconded. Any discussion, guys? <coughs> okay. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Bola? Yes. That's the only ones we got. Oh no. No no. Solid waste. We got solid waste and uh, solid solid waste position. I would like to nominate uh, Bruce Powell's for that position. Would that be eliminating his current position? Yeah, uh, no, there would be an and I would like to nominate uh, Rick Carter for Bruce's position. And Rick is in the room too. I'm looking at experience here, guys. I know Matt Gossett was our previous. And I'm looking at experience on what Matt does. Now, I'm not saying the name, I'm talking about the person. What he fulfilled. He fulfilled. One, working on the computers. Two, the solid waste. Three, the nuisance ordinances. And fourth, was going to be the zoning ordinances too. Now we're taking all this experience and breaking it down to, we've got new people coming on. We have got to stay in compliance with this state. 
on this landfill or we'd be in trouble. Now you had, like I said, you had an application of his in there. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not taking nothing away from these guys that's, that's here, but I've got to look out for this county for the experience that's here. Now I know he's not brought his name up, I don't know if he will or not, but that's, that's the experience and the welfare of this county means a lot. <clears throat> Tell me what computer work did he do? Well, he worked on the computers that was in here that they'd have trouble. He, he would he would run all over the county fixing them. I think he fixed some of, of the sheriffs and then all that. He used little, little knick-knack stuff that's secret of the place that nobody knows. Because I was looking at our website and 2016 was the last time any of the waste management stuff was updated. I looked at the ordinances on the zoning there's not been anything updated on the second reading or the third reading. It's not even signed on our website. So I just was wondering, you know, what was he doing? I know Tina has her own group working on her computer. She plays it outside. I think what he's talking about is, is actual repair work that's repair going work. on. Uh, uh, as far as if there's a the glitch in the system, if the system goes down, okay. uh, that's usually the first one they call to come and, I thought and maybe do he was the repair work. Website, yeah, maybe whether it's updating uh, it. Well, I, I, you were talking about the repair work that he does on the computer, yeah. mm -hmm. not just the website yeah. and things like that. And if I look at our administrative code, guys, the job description doesn't for the solid waste person right. says nothing about that. That's understandable. I, I, I don't know where you're coming from on that, but it was, it was a solid, solid waste, actually is not a full-time position. Well, in, in one of the positions, it doesn't even have a job description. Yeah. But it's a full-time position, too. Yeah. And I, know we I have had a, a conversation with Bruce earlier about uh, about the landfill specifically, uh, because I understand your concerns, uh, Kirby, about making sure we stay compliant with all that and that we're issuing permits and, and things of that nature. Uh, Bruce has been holding down that fort for the whole month of December. But there's more laws on that fort just what you're holding down. Not to do, yeah. yeah. It, keeps him, it keeps him busy. I know we have a we have a solid waste report due in March, right? Yeah. Went to the state and we got the truck licensing report we got to we keep up this time of year, right? That's something we got to look at. Has our five-year plan been turned into the state yet? It's due. Do you know if it has? I don't, I don't even. It was signed last year. Last year, so it's got four years. But last year, y'all signed. I just two thousand eighteen. Let's see. And judge, just for consideration purposes, the nuisance ordinance. It if he's going to be enforcing the nuisance ordinance, that in and of itself could be in itself just a part-time job by itself. Yes. So. Right. And I would assist in any way to enforce nuisance ordinance as well. And I, I think that's a big thing, you know, here and throughout the county. That's that seems to be the the big uh, the big complaint. But when one man has four different jobs, how can one man do it? Well, and, I, and I've had a discussion with you is, you know, I'd like to see you keep Matt uh, at least for a, a period to adjust to, <coughs> you two to adjust to each other. And he would know what you expect of him and, and this, that, and the other. And I know you've got the authority to do what you want to do, but uh, we're losing a lot of experience like what Kirby said. Fifteen years of it. Is there any way you consider uh, keeping Matt on 30, 60 days to train? If he, if he would be willing to stay on. For, I haven't talked to him. I'm yeah, if he would be willing to stay on for 30 days to kind of uh, give yeah, Bruce. Like, like you say, 15 one more, years is uh, a, lot, a lot to give up. To give Bruce, uh, and then, you know, what will we set that, that uh, wage at? And would that be enough time, Bruce? I think it would to get going. Just to make sure you are have all your ducks in a row. Yeah. 
Well, when's our next meeting? The 15th of January. Yep. I, I, at this time, I don't see how you can appoint him to that. You're going to keep and you want to keep him at for 30 days. Now, 30 days ain't going to give you time to do nothing. Well, that's that would be a part-time gig. That'd be creating a whole whole new position. But you're letting a lot of a lot of experience go out the door. And I'm not taking nothing away from you guys. I'm just telling you where the experience of the job that was done out there. He is well respected in the state on the things that he does. I'm not taking anything away from him. I don't worry about these like these reports that gotta be done when we get the letter and, abatements and, and the well, the whole month of December. But judge it's I, all been Bruce. <clears throat> but judge, I don't think you've given the I don't think you've given him a chance to even talk to him or work with him on anything. I've had a couple of conversations with him. I, uh, I know how you all feel about each other, but I look out for the county. No, I, don't, I, I don't care that. how your all's feelings are. I understand you If you all keep playing the same sandbox, I can't help that. Right. But I'm looking at the outlook of this county. I understand. I ain't going to sit here because somebody's mad at somebody. No. Or can't get along with somebody. All. Right. I'd like to make a motion that we keep Matt in place for three months with the understanding that Bruce will be learning the job and then at that time we can make the determination whether we needed to, to make other arrangements or not at their current rate. Now you're saying that you're going to put, you're going to keep Matt at his current position for three months. For three months. And if it don't work out at that time, make the decision. Who's going to determine if it works out? Well, we will. We're the ones that's. Well, the way the law reads, I make my my nomination for appointment, and you guys have 60 days to decide if you want that appointment or not. At the end of that 60 days, if you guys have not made a decision on it, then I can, by executive order, appoint somebody for a one-year term. And I have the full faith in that Bruce can do this job. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just telling about the experience that you got right now. And I'm not taking anything away from the guy. Are we going with that motion? With Kenny Ham? Or are you? Well, that's. I'm just saying what, where I'm at on it. But you can so we got 60 days to make yes. a decision on you your appointment. Yes, you got 60 days, yep. But you can appoint somebody, but it's approval of this court. That's, that's right. Yep, that's right. So if you don't approve it, that's fine. we got 60 days of nothing. And I don't think we can afford that with this solid of waste report to the state coming up. No, no, no. the other. Right. I mean, it's a job that needs to be done. Not just that, just. Can we even allow him for three months, can we? That was my motion, so. Second. I know you got a motion on the table. I, I can't go outside Robert's rules, but you can discussion before you vote. Uh, okay, I was just wondering. Is this something that we could table until then? I know we got a motion on the table. We do have a motion on the table. So I was just thought maybe we'd get, get it on the agenda for next week. And we could vote on it, but and then and then you can come back with a motion to table it. 
Because while we, we're doing, we while we're doing this, there's work. Vote. While while we're doing this, there's work need to be done. Right. It's not being done. So well, no, no, at. Bruce has been doing. Bruce has. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, he did it the whole month of December. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't believe there'd be any hiccups at all with him doing it no, again. Long probably not. No. I agree. All right, I'll call for a vote. Can you please clarify? Sure. Can you give me to keep Matt Gossam for three months to assist Bruce Piles at their current rates? Does this not include anything on with Carter? Uh, it does not. This motion okay, does this not. Is just, this is just strictly for Mr. Gossam yep. and Mr. Piles. Yep. All right. Uh, the only thing is, and, uh, and on this, about the same rates, uh, you know, Bruce worked for a considerable amount less uh, in doing that job. If that's not an injustice to the whole county, I don't know what the hell is. Because when you got a guy doing $45,000 a year, and then a guy making twenty six is doing his job, how do you justify that? You're talking about just for the past month? Well, yeah, but a lot. Well, and now Matt was on a vacation that was approved by the previous judge. So and, that's, and I'm not going to knock that, that, but I'm just saying. Cir circumstances that you had, had no control over. That, so. Right. That's a horse pill. So, a motion on the floor? Okay. Ready for the vote? Absolutely. Chris Leiter? No. Kenny Green? <coughs> yes. J.D. Jones? No. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? No. No, this is mine. I'd like to make a motion. All right. I think three months was too. You know, I don't think the county can, you know, who's our solid waste coordinator, but I think we need to have something in place soon. And I just think three months is too long, and I'd like to make a motion to table this and bring it back on the agenda after discussion for June, January 15th meeting. And we'll decide then what we're going to do. I don't think we need to kick, keep kicking this down the road. It needs to be a decision made, and I agree with everybody said at this table. You know, experience is hard to get rid of, and Bruce can do the job. I agree with everything, but right. I, I just don't think we need to keep kicking it down the road. So, as of today, is Matt still employed or has he been let go? I would say employed until at least next week. Well, he's his term automatically ended ends. last night. Yeah, it automatically ends, so he's not been reappointed. So that would be that would be really what we're dealing with here because that was just a motion to keep Matt on for three months. Right. Now, uh, my nomination would be Bruce Powell's to the uh, to the solid waste position at thirty six thousand dollars a year. That's a starting pay. That's considerable less. I thought Chris made a motion. Well, he I was made a motion to table this discussion until January fifteenth. Table 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 moving Bruce to the. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we need to figure it out. I mean, okay. I think three months was too long is the reason I voted no. All right. It's the only thing. If you want to make most of the day 30 days or seven days, it would be fine. Do you know yeah. And then we can determine the wage at that point. To start off with, guys, we're sitting here saying that he will. I'm not saying he will. I mean, That's I don't true, know, too. I don't That's know true if Matt's too. going to do it or not. I mean, you're going to have to ask him if you're getting rid of him. That's true, too. Well, I'm not getting rid of him. It's just his term ends. Well, I'm out. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to table this until the January 15th meeting. Do we have a second? I second it. All right. Any discussion at all? Well, Kenny brought up a good point. Is Matt employed or, or is Bruce going to go the next week doing that job? Bruce will be doing that. He's okay. going to keep doing the job. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? No. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? No. Ty Pollock? No. So we're back to the table. I'm sorry, just a second. <laughs> uh, Chris 
Snyder and J.D. Jones voted no. No, they voted yes to table it. Yes. Yes. And you voted no to table it. Yes. Okay. I'd like. Well, I just want to resolve it today. Okay. That's all. I can see that. I'd like to speak to Matt. I mean. Yes. Go ahead. Well, I'd like to speak to him. He's not oh, here. Oh, all right, right. If I can't speak to him, I don't know his all intention. Right. right. And maybe he could clarify some things. Right. I think we ought to make it a point to invite him to the next meeting. There you go. I agree, hundred percent. Because, because yes, and my nomination does stand, but you guys do have sixty days to approve it. Or not, and then at the end of the sixty days, that's when I can make a one-year appointment. But you're going to have to the salary. You're going to have to yeah to set. Yeah, we'll have to set that salary, and and that's why I said uh, to make Bruce a solid waste coordinator at thirty-six thousand a year. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> We're kind of going around circles here. Mm -hmm. We ain't kind of, we are. Kind of going around circles. There's nothing legally keeping us from talking to Matt, salary based and everything outside of here. Well, I mean, you can as long as one of the meeting, I don't, I don't think that you should discuss like salary or how long would you be interested in staying on. I mean, that's your all's decision. Um, but you can invite him to the meeting, and if he's interested in, if he might not even be interested, so to see if he's interested in staying on for a set period of time. Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll, we'll move right past it to the uh, the position that Bruce currently has at the other solid waste uh, position. And that is the, uh, that's where I wanted to nominate Rick Carter to do that. And, uh, and with that, because our administrative code does not have a job description for uh, what Bruce currently does. Uh, it would be Bruce's position, but I would like to see that person be our code enforcement. Uh, nuisance ordinance, uh, specifically. I, I go back to saying, if Bruce got get takes this job, or whoever ought to be the enforcer on that because he's dealing with solid waste and trash and stuff like that. He ought to have to go out here and do the nuisance part of it. And and Bruce, if you could kind of outline for us your 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 working relationship. Um, as your position uh, is now, do you you don't cite anyone right now, do you? No. Okay. I mean, in that in the hat you. No. Okay. And um, you're mainly overseeing uh, the, landfill. the landfill, making sure that everybody's compliant out there, coming and going. I was keeping good with the county. Keep everything because there's sometimes they get aggravated, kind of kind of gets aggravated them over certain issues. I try to just keep everything smoothed over, right? So you'll be spending eight hours out there. Does Matt spend eight hours out there? I didn't. You're, you're changing this all around. All right, Judge. all right, go ahead. You're just trying to say a solid waste guy, right? You yeah, but I'm just saying, saying is, is that eight hours out I there? I do spend four hours out there and then four hours up here on maintenance. Around the courthouse, yeah. Uh, senior citizen building, PVA, snow removal, sidewalks and sidewalks. stuff around the courthouse square. Clean up, trim bushes, lawns, putting up flags. And so your official title is director, or what, what is your solid waste officer? What solid they waste that, officer. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is in here. And then Matt's the director. Is that what his oh, yeah, coordinator? coordinator. But if he takes that position, it's a different thing. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, one solid waste officer, one is solid waste coordinator. 
And I think it's just uh, coordinator, officer. I don't see a big difference in either word, really. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not taking nothing away from nobody here, but I believe if he's going to be the solid waste, which you're all after, then he should have to do the nuisance ordinance yeah. and, and anything else we have to do with, with solid waste. Yeah. I don't look to create another another position with something. When you say code enforcement, other than the nuisance ordinance, what are you talking about? Correct and uh, the new employee? Yes, the new employee. That was what I wanted him to do was to uh, go around and, and work with people on our nuisance ordinance. Yeah, so he'd just primarily be doing the nuisance Well, ordinance. and he would be helping Bruce with stuff, too. But uh, Now, you're talking about him coming back up in here and, and picking up sticks, too? What, whatever well, Bruce is doing. What I'm yeah, saying or, is, yeah. if he's going to do four hours out there, then he ought to do four hours out here on the nuisance part of it. Driving right. around, mix it driving up. around the county. Yeah. Seeing yeah, what has to be up. done. I don't know why we have to have two riding around doing it. So, what did this one you want this new position part time? Is what you had in mind? Uh, no, I had full time because that's what Bruce was or is. He would be the solid waste officer, would be this other position. So he would be working the landfill too. And, you know, it could be where they both work together on it, on the siting of the nuisance ordinance. I think by and large that, that seems to be a overwhelming uh, discussion around the county is about uh, the nuisance ordinance or enforcement of it. I'm going to put it in a motion if he does a solid waste and he takes care of the nuisance ordinance too and, and it's going to turn around being the uh, zoning part too on, on the ordinances. And still, still he's, going to, he's going to be the code enforcer. The solid waste guy is going to be the code enforcer. That's my motion. Are you talking about the officer doing that part if, of it? If, if, he, if he's going to be the, the solid waste coordinator, he's going to spend four hours out there, and if he can go four hours out in the county, that's the way you run it. So what good are you doing coming back here, sitting around the courthouse, or doing stuff around the courthouse when you should be doing the solid waste part of it? As a, as a and right, that's what the other the other person would do. Yes, I see what you mean. And and yes, that's right. Whatever ordinances we have, it wouldn't just be specifically nuisance ordinance. We have. Mm -hmm. I make a motion. If Bruce Piles is the solid waste coordinator, he will enforce the ordinances. There you go of all county issues. There you go. Providing Matt, you know, that we, Matt come in here, if he even come in here. Can I add that he has the authority to enforce? No, I'm There you go, yeah. thank you. As a solid waste court. Sorry, Kenny. Right. Right. Dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> throwing stuff. You know, you were asking qualifications on the uh, solid waste ordinance. You get to the zoning part of it. Did you ask any qualifications for that? For, for that? Yes. Well, I, I know. We're, we're setting ourselves up a big trouble on that one, I can tell you well, right now. For that, the same thing you're bringing up about the solid waste. That is a different issue down the road. On, well, on I think that if we're going to make this officer over both of them, we need to ask qualifications on that also. Well, then if you so go, we can ask Bruce right now qualifications on does he have any building experience? I do not know if he does. Then you? Then you go, no, and you can go back with, I know Matt knows it inside and out on on, a, on, his, on the uh, planning and zoning. Is he a, a civil engineer? Well, almost getting uh, mixed. I don't here. think there's probably very many sitting around here. Got a, I mean, I don't think our road supervisor's got a, a, an engineering degree See, to go out on that road. That, that's what that's what scares me 
is because we've passed the ordinance that basically says if you do $500 worth of work on the interior of your house and we say it's okay and they remove a structural wall, are we responsible for that? And you said, said an official overall level. Then you'll have to ask an attorney that, that one there. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. I want to make sure that if we're going to appoint somebody to both of those, because y'all brought that up, both of them, that they have the experience to handle both of them. I well, definitely agree with you on the, the judge experience. hasn't even mentioned anything about the enforcement of the zoning ordinance at this point. Well, he said all talking, ordinances. Well, that, that's what Mr. Melvin has stated. Okay. I, I think that at this particular point in time, since that hasn't even been brought up by judge, I think the nuisance ordinance is the only thing that I'm aware of that he can enforce at this time. Well, and Matt was the administrator over planning and zoning. That was one of his hats he was wearing also. So. But that was a separately appointed function. It's not part of his solid waste function capacity. Thanks for the clarification. All right, so we have a motion on the floor. The motion that I have is Kirby Miller moved that if Bruce Piles is solid waste coordinator, he has authority to enforce the nuisance ordinances. Okay. Or all ordinances all that are enforceable. Ordinances. All county, when you say all county ordinances, it goes back to where we talked about. That are, are enforceable. The ones that are enforceable. Here, wow. <laughs> yeah. The ones that are enforceable. Yes. But he has the and authority to enforce. How many ordinances? But he has the authority to okay. enforce. But this motion doesn't appoint him <clears throat> into that position. It just says if he's appointed. Yes. Yes. If he's appointed. Good. So we go, Great. we are doing the circle because we're, we're going back now. to. We are going back to. <laughs> Do we go ahead and appoint him, or I, I nominate him, do we appoint him? Well, the, the zoning is an ordinance, uh, so would he be... But, but I think that's going to come up later. Well, it's still in effect as far as I know. I mean, it needs to be considered the first time. It's not on the agenda. It is, yes, it is not. And because it's a special meeting, we can only discuss. Well, the motion said all ordinances. So. That he has the authority to enforce. It's yeah. vague. And I think nuisance ordinance is probably the biggest one we're, we're looking at anyway. So if we want to uh, kind of narrowly say nuisance ordinance, that, that might be good because <laughs> he's not going to be out writing tickets for jaywalking or double parking. All right, so that's the motion uh, that we, uh, that if we appoint Bruce, that he will, uh, as part of his solid waste coordinator position, uh, enforce he will, uh, how was that worded again? Well, it's not worded very well. That's okay. Let me try it again. Yeah. Kirby Melvin moved that if Bruce Piles is appointed as solid waste coordinator, he has authority to enforce the nuisance ordinance and all county ordinances that he would have the authority to enforce. Oh. That's a mess. <laughs> It's very tricky. Can you help me with that? That, that, that was his motion. motion. That okay? That's his motion. But that's kind of putting the cart before the horse, isn't it? If he's appointed. It is. It is. Is there a second on it? All right. Then that motion dies for lack of a second. Well, we got a qualification list for the solid waste coordinator. Yeah. That's what Mr. Dawson used to do. We have, no, that, no, we have that job description. Okay. That may have. Uh, I, I know, I've read it. And yeah. It. Yeah. So we have that. Yes, we do. And we was paying Matt 40 some thousand dollars a year to do that job. Yep. And you're one of the nominate Bruce at 36000 Yes, sir. And Bruce And, and also on that, in our administrative code, and, and 
uh, with the wages. Uh, that currently it says that top out pay is forty thousand dollars. Yeah. <coughs> but that's an old administrative code. Of it is. It is the law, and I'm wrong. It is the law. Right. Until we yeah. change it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The. Uh, this would bring us in compliance. Yes. The solid waste officer didn't have to be advertised in. Uh, it's. I'm going to do an appointment. It. He can appoint any. Hang on, let me find it. It was appointed. It's appointed. Can he yeah. appoint a position? He has the authority to appoint the authority of this one. Just double check. Yep. And that's that's my nomination. Have, have you talked to the previous uh, to Matt Gossam? Uh, I've talked to him a couple of times. Have you? Mm -hmm. I would really wish he was here today because I like, even if he'd be, I don't know, I would love to see him as a consultant for us for a while, anyhow, with his knowledge, because I hate to give away 15 years too. You know. and, uh, like Kirby said, he's well known around the state in that mm -hmm. position, well regarded. He was actually a, a speaker at one of the conferences, wasn't he? Last year was asked to be a speaker. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. All right, so the, the uh, nomination is uh, for Rick Carter for the solid waste officer position. And that would fall in line with with what Bruce does with that solid waste uh, coordinator position. I think, I think we need to get this one settled first, the yeah. coordinator. And yeah. what Bruce will do, he will nominate him. I'm not, you know, yeah. I, just, I just don't want to be, I, I want to kick the can I'm down fine the road with that. a little longer. Yeah. But, I'm fine with that. Do we, you know, do we need two full time employees? And, well, I think we do. I think we do need two full time people just because of all the different. The different things that those two guys uh, collectively could do. You may have settled that one out for the first one yeah, before we go to the second one. All right. Yeah. There you go. All right. So we are back to that. My nomination is Bruce Powell's to the solid waste coordinator position. Discussion? Yep. So after 60 days, is it in whether we do anything with it or not? Uh, I can I can appoint then someone by executive order to a one year position and then we bring it up again in a year. Is it, am I right on that, Crystal? Have you well, seen that? Do you know what statute you're referring to on that? I don't off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm sure it would be there. That does sound right, but I want to see the statute before I. I'm going to see if I can pull up an email from uh, Rich Ornstein. Right here, yeah. I think it's under tie breaking there. Um,
So I actually judge, um, pursuant to KRS, and I, I'm curious as to what Rich sent because I, I, I think Rich is a, a good resource to use. But KRS 67.040, it says that when there is a tie vote in the fiscal court in the selection of any officer or employee to be selected by the fiscal court and a deadlock results and continues for 15 days or longer, the county judge um, shall cause to be entered upon the minutes of the fiscal court in order reciting the facts as to the deadlock and the question upon which it has occurred and exists, and thereupon the county judge exec shall make such appointment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He's deadlocked until the next court proceeding. He can nomination or I'll make a motion I'll make a motion that we uh, that we appoint Bruce Piles to this position at $36,000 a year solid waste coordinator There is no second. My motion will die for lack of a second. There you go. And now we have 15 days. Mm -hmm. It's easy enough. Sure. And with that being said, we will we will put off. Uh, I will make a motion to table the solid waste officer position until our January 15th meeting. Second. Can you follow through with uh, Rich Ornstein on <coughs> the timeline? If, if you was thinking 60 and she was thinking 15, 15 yeah. uh, like 15 make sure better. you do it correctly. Okay. I'm going to as yeah. well, just, just to confirm. Yeah. Do you want to vote on that? Yeah, please. Okay. Chris Slater? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. And yes. Yeah. All right. Now, moving on, guys. I think that's all the, the employees that are under our uh, charge to hire. Uh, I think the rest of them are uh, with, with the county clerk and the sheriff's department. That's that's none of our purview. Uh, we don't do the coroner. Um, and uh, thank you, Andrew Stark. Yeah, I would like to, the director of emergency management, I would nominate Andrew Stark to continue in his capacity at the same uh, wages to serve in that position. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Did you make a motion? No, just uh, nomination. I'll make a motion we keep Andrew okay. Stark in his current position as emergency management coordinator at the same salary. I second it. Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kobe Malvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? Yes. Okay. Yeah. At least <coughs> All right. Okay. Good deal. All right. Thank you, guys. And now the uh, magistrate's pay. Uh, the current rate of pay for uh, magistrates is... Uh, $17,743.32 a year. And I would recommend that we keep that the same. Don't make a motion we keep it the same. I think it's been that for the last. Yeah, that's what the uh, Senate, but you got your hours in on that 17. It's actually 14. 1472. Yeah. But if you get the hours in over it, that's 3,000. 
Right. I'll make a motion to keep the magistrates pay at the current rate. There you if go. that clarifies it. There you go. Through the remainder of this. Yeah, because a lot of that goes through Department of Local or Government. Budget anyway. year, rather. Yeah. And I know we cannot change the rates during your term. We can for the next term, but not. Uh, <coughs> and the Department of Local Government gives us those guidelines anyway. All right. Motion by Kenny to uh, keep the ma magistrate pay at the current rate and a second by Kirby. Any discussion? All right. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Bullock? Yes. You guys see anybody else I'm missing? <laughs> no. All right, good. We will move right along to uh, approval of the ambulance repairs. Did you guys get the email I sent on that? Uh, it was $1,560. And uh, JD, you've got your copy to say what all uh, needs repaired on that. I, I would have pushed this off to our regular meeting, guys. But I, I think they need that repaired pretty quick. Yeah, it says new tires, shock, <coughs> ball joint, steering, shock, and sway bars. So yeah, it's a pretty extensive. You got, you got a copy of that in your email, Kirby? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to ask Will about this. Will, was there, this place you got the estimate from him in Smithfield? Um, it's in Fennel. No. Um, in Henry County? Yes. Thank you. Was there any Except Trimble that. County businesses that had the yeah. opportunity to uh, bid on this or no, put an sir. estimate in on it? Uh, he's the closest EVT in our region. EVT being? Uh, emergency vehicle technician. They have to be certified in order to work on them. <clears throat> you can't just take it so like you get okay. where it is. Right, okay. I was just wanted to clear that. Um, so. The next closest is in uh, Wilder, Kentucky. Okay. So there's none in Trimble County that can work on it? No, but the uh, the owner of that business does live here. Okay, all right. I thought it looked, actually, once you get on the ball joints and steering and sway bars and stuff, I actually thought it looked cheap Yeah. with two new tires. So I'll make a motion to accept this bid. $1,560.35. Did that include the alignment also? Mm -hmm. No. No, sir. no, there's an alignment fee on top of that. Right. Yeah. We might want to not to exceed a, a certain amount rather than then say that amount. Than the fifteen sixty because the alignment's probably hundred dollars or so. Roughly. <clears throat> Maybe not to exceed seventeen hundred or something. Yeah, like I, yeah, I'll make it put that in on the motion and accept this not to exceed seventeen hundred dollars. Which will include an alignment. Will, can you check on what the alignment would be? Uh, I can tomorrow. Uh, I think everything's pretty well closed right now. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Tomorrow, we'll get back to the judge on that. Uh, we normally use uh, LaGrange Service Center. They're typically the cheapest, but I can price it right We can do the alignment at a different location? Yes. Okay. So, do they have to be certified to work on ambulances to do an alignment? Uh, no, sir. Well, we check and see if there's anybody in our county that can do alignments. Um, yes, sir. Right. If you, if you, thanks. Do you know him, Chris? I don't know if the one down on Highway 421 does or not. Not but there's several businesses in the county that that so work. Hard. So maybe it's yeah. something I'd like to see check into. Yeah. I'm not sure. But, all right. So the motion on the floor is to uh, not to exceed not to exceed seventeen hundred dollars on ambulance repairs. Is that right? Yes. Which will include the alignment. alignment. Yeah. And do we have a second? I second it. All right. <coughs> Any more discussion? All right. Okay, Chris Leiter? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pullman? Yes. All right, moving right along. 
this is. Uh, we need to call back on yes, the secretary. Yes, thank you. Uh, one <laughs> wage I forgot, and boy, I'd get shot for this one, uh, is the deputy judge executive. Uh, that was an executive appointment, and uh, we need to set her her pay rate. And I think she could uh, vouch for the workload it is. And uh, but I believe she earns every penny and then some. We have we have budgeted uh, in the 2018-2019 budget for fifty-five thousand uh, dollars to pay. Uh, that that title of, of deputy judge executive. And those were two people in there, and and we are running one right now. And if if we if we do run two, uh, the other person would be a twenty hour a week job. Okay, so that and, was for both of them. Yeah. And and I think it was. I mean, if, and if I add these two numbers up uh, between the two that that were in there, the previous administration, uh, they were like. Forty, forty-three thousand dollars a year. I think we got. They were forty-three nine ninety-two. Because we got a, what I'm looking at right here is fourteen fifty-three an hour. That's that's what I see here on the on the paper. Yeah. I mean, if that's, I'll make a motion to stay at the current at fourteen fifty three an hour. And do you have now? Is that the one? There's a couple of wages in there. That's that's for one. Yeah, fourteen fifty three, and then and then down here at fourteen ninety seven. You said she can handle. She was going to take the. She can handle the load. It's a load, and I I honestly would like to raise it up to fifteen. Making it an even. I'll make the motion that the deputy judge there would be fourteen fifty three an hour. That's where we're at now. Well no, that's that's what the other one started at. And what this one brings to the table is a sixteen years experience. In this line of work, that, and that's why I would want to bump her pay up. Same as that 15-year guy. I understand. Yeah, I second the motion for 14.53 an hour. Yeah, we have a motion on the floor and a second. Chris Leiter. Yes. Kenny Green. Yes. J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Todd Pollock? No. If we do choose to uh, bring in a part-time person, uh, what would you all like to set the, the pay rate for that person? I believe we ought to wait till the time comes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We all agree on that one. I think yeah, I think we'll link the All right. We in where we're at at that time. And uh, the next one, guys, and, and you, you guys that have been here longer, you can kind of shed some light on this. Uh, but a, a certain number of county employees came to me and said that they, there was no Christmas bonus, no Christmas dinner, nothing like that. Uh, so I asked Vicki to uh, check into what it would cost to give the county employees a dinner. And uh, the best price was $14.99 over at the Pines in Madison. 
and uh, I would like to see us be able to set a schedule a day where all the county employees can go over there and have a have a dinner it's not Christmas anymore but from what I understand there they did not get any anything this year for Christmas and I know it's a late late thing but uh, kind of build up their morale a little bit well in the past the way we have funded that is the uh, physical court employees made the donation and paid for it it didn't cost the county anything okay but it was an agreement amongst the physical court members to pay for it yeah. as a Christmas gift to the employees okay we always consider how many employees we had and then divided and the guys would pitch in and go from there now right. I don't know why the previous court didn't do that but I brought it up and it was a we'll see, and it never did happen. So, but we we always had in the past the, the three previous years we did do that. So, yeah, that's fine with me. I'll make a motion we do that. You know, February second, Saturday. I think everybody's off. I mean, well, we'll see what day. <laughs> well, we okay. might have snow. Yeah. How do you? Mean? I'd like to make okay discussion. What I'm saying is now you're saying we all pitch in here and do this. I know. Now, secondly, when Christmas comes around again, you're going to pitch in again. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Todd on this, you know, appreciation. Well, I, I don't well, think I'm it has saying, to be, but I'm just telling you that that's what you're going to be doing. Well, I don't think there has to be a motion on this. I mean, it's, I don't this think is it agreement is between us. It's going to be an agreement. Yeah, I think it's us. So yeah. I think it's, yeah. All right, that's fine. Okay. I just said, you and Vicky and set it up. There you go. In my opinion. Yes, and we'll find out. Uh, who and what and where and when Sounds good. and try to get a date. I like February too. That's uh, JD But if there, <laughs> there may, <laughs> you're on nights. <laughs> there may be snow on the ground. Uh, we know our road people can't be there. There you go. Why well, don't have to be yeah. there? Don't put on any Packers in, boys. So that's right. something we're gonna look into. Let's we just come up with a better plan the next yes, week. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, abs advance. yeah. The fifteenth, we'll have a uh, something a little more firm, firm met up a little bit. All right. All right. Um, I don't see any need to go into executive session. Do you all? <coughs> no. All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. I second. I did. <laughs> I thought she was going to. She's right there in that paper. Uh, I no, I didn't put her on the agenda. They don't have it. None of them. Our new guys. Regular meetings. We'll have them. Yeah. <coughs> Special meetings. I don't know. I thought the meeting was on the twenty second. <laughs> Because of Martin Luther King Day, so instead of meeting on the same one, do they say all in favor say yeah. Yeah. Or do they go around the table? I haven't read the ordinance to see if it says the yeah. third Tuesday. All in favor. All in favor. Okay. okay. And, and then, like because, so. If there's a question, they would take it. Okay. All right. Yeah, we sing down there to the train and make a call every time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every time. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, not a vote on it. It speeds it, it, speeds it up. We just got a second. It does. It does. <laughs> it does. I like the roll. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like it. Yes, there you go. Just had that. Yes. So we got yes. a motion to say. Yes. yes. And, and uh, all those in favor? Yes. Aye. All those votes. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, just for this one last one. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over.